गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट राइबोजाइम टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो एक्चुअली द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ राइबोजाइम इज राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड एंजाइम सो व्हाट आर राइबोजाइम्स राइबोजाइम्स आर RNA molecules that have the ability to catalyze specific biochemical reactions ribozymes can form three dimensional structures just like proteins and can bind specifically to substrates and cofactors just like enzyme Ribozymes were discovered in 1982 and it was demonstrated that RNA can be both genetic material just like DNA and a biological catalyst just like protein enzyme This contributed to the worldwide hypothesis that RNA may have played a crucial role in the evolution of self replicating systems this is referred to as the rna world hypothesis so according to rna world hypothesis it is said that rna came first then dna and protein arrived in life so rna indeed was able to replicate and today many scientists believe that ribozymes are remnants of an ancient world that existed before the evolution of proteins let's talk about some functions of ribozymes the most common activities of ribozymes are the cleavage of rna and dna and peptide bond formation within the ribosome ribozymes function as part of the large subunit ribosomal rna to link amino acids during protein synthesis in protein synthesis during elongation phase the amino acids are added one by one during elongation phase a trna brings a new amino acid to the ribosome according to the codons of mrna right so each new amino acid is then attached to the end of the growing polypeptide chain via the formation of peptide bond this peptide bond formation between two amino acids is catalyzed by a rna molecule that is a ribozyme that is present in the ribosome they also participate in a variety of rna processing reactions including rna splicing so the example of a ribozyme is ribonuclease p or rnas p which is a ribonuclease and it is involved in the processing of pre trna the rnas p is an ribozyme composed of one rna component and one protein component and this rna component is a ribozyme which catalyzes the processing of precursor trna precursor trna is a very long molecule during processing its large portion is removed and degraded precursor trna is cleaved at both 5 prime end and 3 prime end next is hammerhead ribozymes so hammerhead ribozyme is another small rna which performs self cleavage reaction it is found in viroid which have rna as genetic material and they infect the plants when viroid replicates it produces a continuous rna chain just like this which consists of multiple copies of rna here 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 we have multiple copies of rna and this continuous chain rna undergoes cleavage to form single viroid 
and this is the cleavage site. Like antisense RNA which is used to silence the genes, ribozyme is also used to turn off specific genes. Ribozymes may also play an important role in therapeutic areas. Recently, ribozymes are used against the HIV virus. The ribozymes are engineered to cleave specific site on the viral RNA and thus interfering with the life cycle of the viruses. Use of ribozymes also reduces the requirement of drugs and its toxicity to the cell. Ribozymes also act as an anti-cancer agent to degrade RNAs from oncogenes. So how does it degrade the RNA? It simply gets attached with the RNA and cleaves it into fragments. Okay. Finally, some infectious agents including hepatitis delta virus and perhaps polio virus and rhinoviruses are themselves ribozymes providing potential targets for pharmaceuticals so we can make drugs to target these ribozymes the ribozyme genes are currently incorporated in plants to protect them against viruses so we can make transgenic plants by introducing the ribozyme gene in plants which become virus resistant let's talk about the disadvantages of ribozymes so ribozymes are easily degraded inside the body by various enzymes so ribozymes are encapsulated in liposomes and is introduced into the body so liposome coat will protect them from degradation. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, please find the first pinned comment or the description box. Thank you.